Hey guys, welcome back to the last spell. I forgot to record my Apocalypse 1 win. So after I won in the last video with the on the base difficulty, so that was uh, actually Lakeburg 6. I won with on the base difficulty. Uh, only yeah, only Lakeburg 6. Now we're on Lakeburg number 9. So I took Lakeburg number 7 uh, test out the <laughs> Apocalypse 1, but actually in reality I just uh, forgot to buy the 6 hero on wave 9. On wave 9 I forgot to buy the 6 hero. Yeah, m enemies are coming from all 4 directions. You need six heroes in order to uh, actually have a chance. The lack of a single hero can make a lot of difference uh, when you're on wave nine or day nine. So that's how I failed uh, uh, Lakeburg number seven, and then Lakeburg number eight. That's when I won Apocalypse one. Apocalypse one is now lighted up, uh, and then we're in this video or in this video and the next and the, probably the next again um, I'm gonna try to play faster and take less videos to cover a single run but this game is a lot of each run does take a lot of time I, I don't remember it would be good if there's a uh, I mean a game history run history on um, I, I i wonder if i took a screenshot or not just to see how long it took me maybe i did so let me just pull it up and then pull yeah i i did okay let's see here okay it took me okay eight hours eight hours 45 minutes and 23 seconds to run uh to win on Lakeburg number eight. Okay. Well I will have uh, I will have this uh, screenshot on, on screen for you guys to see. Okay so now let's go with on the apocalypse number two. Uh enemy waves are twenty percent bigger. I don't really think that's uh that's that much uh, that big of a deal, but it can be uh, at least for wave or day eleven with those uh, lancers or spearmen. Um, with uh, those, they they have a lot of uh, resistance. They have a lot of armor. Yeah, <laughs> it can be a little bit of a troubling issue so uh but but i guess uh, it's the but but i did unlock uh several things unlock i un i got the starting gold and material 50 50 here um that's uh, i unlocked that uh, through the essence part uh, essence unlock Unlocking with essence, and then I unlocked a bunch of uh, equipment, I think, or just yeah, I think equipment. Okay, so these guys, the weapons suck, but at least the, um, we have a an energetic gene here that is uh, really good. Okay, minus one skill range. Okay, minus one skill range is a problem for a mage. But we do have an extra movement point, so that maybe can make up for it. Okay, sentry is okay. We have some poison damage. Okay, we have an extra trinket slot on this guy. Well... Let's go. First wave, first day. It's a uh, doesn't really matter too much. You have a spear. It's 
This the this combination just sucks. We have the pistol, which is so so dumb. Punch these guys. <laughs> like to me, these the pistol, uh, the power staff, and the and obviously we have a melee character. But the pistol and the power staff, they're just both melee. They don't they don't do anything. Add this guy to tank some damage. Yep. That's what I thought. Just doesn't seem to be very good at all. These guys just suck so much, or these weapons just suck so much. Oh, I can only use two. Oops. I have to die in order for me to move over. Well, this thing only has minus accuracy. So it's not... And the minus accuracy still hit. Yeah, it's not that good. Okay, I just need to get some better weapons. I don't. When is that? When is. When am I gonna get those better weapons? I actually don't know. Um Ah <sighs> this grape shot is so limited I really don't get the gra the grave shot having a single line of uh, only a, a, you can only target a single line um, like that is kind of stupid in my opinion. <laughs>
Okay. 25 left. Uh, th well, this beginning is just a matter of making the best of your, what you're given. Uh, and then uh, I and then I always like to uh, just go for poison. Poison is good all around, in my opinion. It's just good in a lot of comps, uh, and also against a lot of different enemies. And then you can slow them down, and then po and then the poison continues to tick. Okay, so, uh, but before that, we need to finish what we have here first. Still, I have to wait for them to come in. Can I do this without using <laughs> any mana? Maybe not. Four left. Well, three left. When there's only three left, uh, I can do this without using any mana. Let's not use any mana. One left. Okay. Mana is actually an issue. Mana is an issue. Oh yeah, and I got the upgrade where they have where my units gain more HP, uh, more experience when they uh at the start. So okay, so uh, anyways, going from the bottom, we have like we unlock the uncommon item production, rare item productions. Um, better, better melee heroes, wealthy haven, starting armor quality, better range heroes, experience gain, so they have a 15% uh, experience gain at the at start. We have our action point number three. Um, Better, better magic heroes, and the rest are just uh, what we what what 
I think those are uh, yeah. We saw everything else already. And on this side, so we have um, just un unlocked the, the, like a bunch of different things. Shopkeeper's friend uh, allows you to sell your uh, stuff at better at better prices. Uh, rare items reward, better melee heroes. Um, st starting magic weapon quality. Um, a bunch of different sets, and then starting range quality, and we'll unlock the meteor ring. Uh, that's like it's a very rare ring, though. Even though, even though it's, uh, I think it's pretty good. It gives you a skill that hits a lot of enemies, uh, but it's really rare to actually get this. And more sets, better range heroes, um, better magic heroes, um, uh, stone wall traps. Yeah. Like, I think the rest we seen already. So, yeah. So we have more gold now. Uh, we can start... Uh... Yeah, let's start with a bowyer. Okay, do I want... I, I can... Okay, so 55 plus 45, that's 100, 170. I, I can, I can start with all three of these buildings. So let's uh, destroy a... Three. Let's just destroy a four. And then we can start with all three of these buildings. A house. A gold mine. And a bowyer. Let's get rid of this thing. Bowyer. Okay, so we have some propagation damage. Okay, we have a tome. Mm. Okay, well, I think. Let's take the stack helm instead of the tome. And let's take the crossbow. Okay. So let's go experience gain still. Uh, we do want the experience. They they do level up the a lot more uh, when you when you have this experience gain. Poison. I can set it up.
let's get the initiator and melee wise we'll just we'll go with swift as a wind uh okay ranged damage and riddle mm. hmm Takes the accuracy then. And magic takes a crit. And extra mana. Ha. Huh. Takes a reliability. Let's take the X XP again. Yeah, so this is a uh I think a bug. Okay, so you can only do it once. So I think a bug when you uh when you reroll first and then you click on the arrow to go to the second trait, uh you you choose whatever you want and then when you come back uh, you can reroll again and you still get your three choices instead of just one choice. People say it's a feature. Uh, people have uh, complained about or noticed this on Reddit and a bunch of people have noticed it and it is uh, something to that they might, they probably will be changing it later on. Uh, yeah, let's just take the poison damage. It's not great. Uh, let's take the XP again in the early game. Early game XP gain is great. Okay, so we're gonna go all in on money generation in the beginning. The scavenge. Uh, we're not gonna build anything right now. Um, okay, we have a tome. Mm, okay, let's buy the tome. It's better than this staff that we have here, so... Yep, and we're gonna save our materials for the next day, for day 3. Uh, and I'm also looking for a dagger for my uh, melee character. Uh, okay, mana is gonna be a problem for my mage. Poison. Poison here. Okay. Okay, so... 
we're gonna wait for these guys to come closer Hmm, not gonna have it my any mana to use the lightning for next round. The good thing we have this crossbow here. I want to use the triple swipe somehow. This only hits four. So, um, something, <laughs> been just playing this without saying anything. So, uh, something to note uh, in this first, uh, two waves is that, or at least first couple waves is that they always funnel this way, at least for the bottom, they always go to your actual walls. Later on, they would, uh, some enemies will go this way, actually, uh, like to infiltrate on your this part of the wall so that can be annoying and you have to account for those uh, for those enemies but right now uh, at least for the first couple of waves that is isn't really a problem so you don't have to worry about that uh, you could you you have to think about the only I would say they Five, not really sure exactly, but only later. Let's go here. It's fine, we get rid of the barricade. The barricade is just in the way, anyways. <laughs> okay, that actually worked out. It's also really good that you can't target yourself. You can't hit yourself with your own skill uh, spells. So, yeah, that's pretty good.
Okay, well, let's get rid of these armored units by poisoning them. 5 AP remaining? Another couple of damage there. don't have a way to... Uh, the spear is nice for AoE, but I don't have a way of single target. So people on reddit have said that you, if you play correctly you can just not really worry about mana but I mean you know like not worrying about mana is uh, just too maybe just too much for me right now and you really need to uh, limit your mana uh, needing to, like yeah just limit your mana uses okay, only these enemies are left I mean, I'll try not to use any mana just for these 8 enemies. This one left, this guy is dead to the poison. Okay, well, kill him anyways. Uh, I said uh, kill him anyways. Okay, so they leveled up again. And so, and also uh, the number of gold and materials uh, you get per night, uh, it's the same. Uh, only the experience gained is different. Okay, so, so, so yeah, so uh, to elaborate on that, uh, Night 1, you always gain 100-100. Night 2, you get 110-110. And then... Uh, night 3, I think it's 140-180. Uh, I don't remember Night 3. But... We'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. 
power staff don't really care about the power staff priest boots um those are pants they're not boots but sure uh okay resistance Mm, okay, let's take these. Okay, so... I want to... Okay, I want to use this. And then... I also want to do the production plus. So that I get a whole item every single turn, every single night. Uh, I really need the mana as well. Mm hmm. How many workers can I spare? Let's do three. Build another house. Either a house or a Gold mine. Let's do the gold mine instead. Okay, so let's repair the walls and then we can build watchtowers right now. Uh, at least one on this side for the mage. Okay. Okay, nice. Uh, okay, so last time, uh, in the last game, uh, I spawned the rifle, and actually rifles are pretty pretty nice to have um but in this case i think i'm just gonna take the longbow instead they're they're like similar with the longbow but you do uh you get some really high damage from them from the rifles uh, they have really, really high base damage and then there is a, a skill that has isolation damage 100 uh, percent isolation damage and uh, and that it's like snipe, so you just you kill a single target, no matter what kind of target, you kill one target uh, straight away. Well, except for bosses, but bosses are uh, on a completely different level. Okay. Resistance? No. Common resistance, we don't really care too much. These things are common, which is just so sad. Let's take this so that uh, we don't need to worry about mana for this guy anymore. Uh, let's take an initiator. We'll take initiator when we actually get daggers. Let's go for cherry picking and then I need to see if there is a better weapon for melee. There is the two-handed sword. This has uh, several one cost, several one cost um, skills. We're gonna pick that up. Let's replace this. Fur pants. Let's pick this up by selling both of these. 
And two points here. Let's go initiator. Uh, let's go crit. It takes a mana, I guess. Okay, well, there's the daily mana regen, rare daily mana regen, so we'll take it. Yes, I'll take the isolate, isolation damage. Okay, steady aim, for sure. Reroll. Magic damage. Daily health regen. Or just resistance reduction. Okay, so. What do I use my uh, materials on? I can build a catapult. I mean, I had catapults and they just seem so mediocre. Let's, Let's build one of these. And then we'll start upgrading some of the walls. Maybe I should have built a watchtower here for the archer. Actually, yeah, should have done that, I think. Place my archer here. Uh, if this side needs some help. Oh, I can actually go. Probably the help will be needed on this side with the melee character. So let's end the phase and end the phase. Okay, so we have a slash which hits two units. Uh, sword blast is a okay square this do, this does hit a lot of uh, let's go here switch this only hits four if I move closer charge. Oh, there aren't any enemies. Hmm. Okay, three here, four here. I would rather use my mana more efficiently or my actions more efficiently. Yes, I can hit this guy before I do that. Uh, I actually don't have a reason to use the lightning here. Well, in reality, I guess the mage sign does need more help. Just picking these guys off. Thing is, if I stunning entrance Yen, I can't do anything. 
I won't be able to get out. Best I can do is run here and then do this. Yeah, I just don't have any line of sight. the lightning which uh didn't even kill okay this might be a problem this hits six this hits also six. Oh no, seven. Well, a bunch of them dodged. Oh, I could have just charged in. Dodged again. Um, how do I want to do this? Wow. This guy dodged three of my attacks. I think that is a better option, yeah, for that side. And then... Okay, let me... Kill one of these guys. And then move... Move here. Oh, uh, Right, forgot that snipe needs movement. Oh no. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, my ranger or my... Yeah, my ranger needs to go and pick that off. Oh... Because of this guy, I keep on dodging like it. Just limit. <laughs> just so annoying. Okay. And turn. My walls are gonna take a beating here. Good thing they don't do much damage to the walls yet. This guy is flying away. Uh, I think I can just leave that, that guy for now until he decides to come in. One... Two and three.
These guys, they dodge everything. What the hell? Uh, that is not good. Oh my god. Oh, and I jumped over without being able to jump back. Yeah, don't make this mistake. <laughs> um, well... Whatever. Sh I shouldn't die. Ow. That is a, a lot of damage. better uh a better mage staff because this is just ridiculous And I somehow don't have enough mana on my archer. I I, I didn't have this problem in my last run. Probably because I there isn't that many uh, enemies to worry about. What the hell? Yo, this guy just sneaked in. Now I can see it. Okay. Come on. Okay, at least it's stunned now. Oh my god. 
God. Okay, I still got all of my gold and materials, so... Phew! That guy sneaked in, like... That was, uh, not expected. Okay, so we're gonna build, uh, a... Hmm... Wooden hand crossbow. Okay, not that. Short bow. Okay, we have a plus two long bow, so let's take the short bow. Okay, so light armor plus six magic damage and cursed pets. Uh, this seems really nice on my magic dude. Okay, so... Can I, sh or should I build a seer this round? Or should I just wait until the next round? Until the next day? I feel like I should just wait until the next day for the seer. And just focus on gold for now. Gold and the uh, workers. Let's let's yeah, let's do this. So it's so it's gonna be seer next day and then uh the yin on the on day five where there are two uh the two sides are opposite directions. So I need four units for that day. I'm gonna try to make to to, to do this um, to hold these two fronts on the on close the close two fronts with only three units. I'm gonna try it. It's gonna be like my walls are gonna be destroyed for sure. <laughs> okay, let's remove. Okay, we can. I think we can remove it too. And then let's build another house. Do the benediction. This guy has 31 total magic. Total mana, I mean. Ha, I didn't get the production plus. I should have gotten the pro production plus. Uh, can I sell some gear? Put this thing on my mage. Let's just destroy a four. And then... We'll take... Oh no! That was not correct. Oh, I used my workers. I... Oh my god. What am I thinking? Oh my god. Shit. Oops. Okay, can I make this work still? I don't think so. Well, that sucks. Well, let's get this 28 gold for something at least. I need, yeah, like, to be honest, let's just get the magic orb, replace this, magic fuel, let's take thrifty, go for magic damage, poison or propagation damage, let's go for propagation. Yeah, I think Thrifty is good on every single one, <laughs> every single class. Physical damage... And... Uh, resistance reduction, sure. 
Thrifty. Fix the range to damage. Resistance reduction. Okay, let's repair some walls. And upgrade some walls. No, I don't need that. We'll just upgrade the walls. Hmm. Yeah, let's spend the tainted essence. Uh, so right, so, so for the tainted essence, I'm actually trying to uh, go for this. Wealthy Heaven Two. You start with a hundred gold and a hundred materials. So yeah, slowly but surely accumulating <laughs> essence towards this. Uh, it, it requires three, uh, 30,000. 